by Alexander Burns and Jonathan Martin. Birmingham, Ala Doug Jones, a Democratic former prosecutor who mounted a seemingly quixotic Senate campaign in the face of Republican dominance here, defeated his scandal-scarred opponent, Roy Moore, after a brutal campaign marked by accusations of sexual abuse and child molestation against the Republican, according to the Associated Press. The upset delivered an unimagined victory for Democrats and shaved Republicans' unstable Senate majority to a single seat. Jones' victory could have significant consequences on the national level, snarling Republicans' legislative agenda in Washington and opening, for the first time, a realistic but still difficult path for Democrats to capture the Senate next year. It amounted to a stinging snub of President Donald Trump, who broke with much of his party and fully embraced Moore's candidacy, seeking to rally support for him in the closing days of the campaign. Amid thunderous applause from his supporters at a downtown hotel, Jones held up his victory as a message to Washington from voters fed up with political warfare. For once, he said, Alabama had declined to take the wrong fork at a political crossroads. We have shown the country the way that we can be unified, Jones declared, draping his election in the language of reconciliation and consensus. This entire race has been about dignity and respect. This campaign has been about the rule of law. Trump tweeted his congratulations to Jones on a hard-fought victory. The people of Alabama are great, and the Republicans will have another shot at the seat in a very short period of time, he wrote. It never ends, propelled by a backlash against Moore, an intensely polarizing former judge who was accused of sexually assaulting young girls, Jones overcame the state's daunting demographics and deep cultural conservatism. His campaign targeted African-American voters with a sprawling, muscular turnout operation and appealed to educated white voters to turn their backs on the Republican Party. Those pleas paid off Tuesday, as precincts in Birmingham and its suburbs handed Jones overwhelming margins while he also won convincingly in Huntsville and other urban centers. The abandonment of more by affluent white voters, along with strong support from black voters, proved decisive allowing Jones to transcend Alabama's rigid racial polarization and assemble a winning coalition. And solidifying Jones' victory were the Republican-leaning residents who chose to write in the name of a third candidate rather than back one of the two major party nominees. More than 20,000 voters here cast rightly in ballots, which amounted to 1.7 percent of the electorate about the same as Jones' overall margin. To progressive voters, Jones' victory was a long-awaited rejection of the divisive brand of politics that Alabama has inevitably rewarded even as some of its southern neighbors were turning to more moderate leaders. At a party for Jones, Sue Bell Cobb, a former chief judge of the Alabama Supreme Court, said he had overcome a culture of toxic partisanship, reaching out to Republicans and electrifying restive Democrats. Never has there been this level of civic engagement, said Cobb who is planning to run for governor next year.